Hey, it's Erin. We have done a ton of workouts over the years, but not talked a lot about how to warm up for those workouts. And I think one of the reasons for that is because warming up can be kind of an individual thing, right? So we have different goals. We have different things we want to focus on. Sometimes you want to do some prehab. Sometimes you feel a little achy, want to do a little extra mobility. Well, today I wanted to streamline things and share with you my current routine for how I warm up for lifting. It takes less than 10 minutes. And the whole premise here is that you want to increase your circulation. You want to increase your heart rate, increase range of motion, fire up the central nervous system, and just generally get ready to lift. So not only are you mentally preparing as you're going through the warm up, but you're also getting your body ready to train too. So it's not really a great idea to walk into the gym cold and get into your first working set because that first set is probably going to be garbage because your body is wondering what it did <laughs> to deserve the beating that it's about to take. So I want to just make sure that that doesn't happen and that we're fully prepared. Now, step one, you want to increase your heart rate slowly, and this can easily be done by walking or jogging for three to five minutes. Now, if you don't have access to a treadmill, get on a bike, jump rope, you can do jogging in place, you can go outside. This is something easy, and you wanna just sort of ramp up as you go through the few minutes. Next, I wanna talk about stretching. This is really important for getting ready for working out. And if you're doing static stretching currently, which is stretch and hold, consider moving this to post-workout. Now, the reason for this is static stretching creates micro tears in the muscle, which by itself is not an issue. But when you combine it with lifting weights, which also creates micro tears, this can increase your chance of injury something we're not looking to do. So just consider moving that static stretching to post-workout and in its place, add some dynamic stretching. And this is simply stretching through an active range of motion. So you'll do things like leg swings, arm swings, let's say high knee to chest or pull your knee to your chest, piriformis stretch, and each rep you go through, I want you to think about just increasing that range of motion a little bit more. So not only is this going to help increase your heart rate, further increase or improve the warm up feeling, so you're gonna feel a lot more loose when you get through it, but you're also going to improve your mobility. Step three, you're gonna start with a light or body weight warm up set. And this is simply to assess how your body is feeling on that very specific first exercise. So for example, if I'm doing a Smith machine squat, I'm just gonna jump on the Smith machine with just the bar, maybe throw a 10 on each side, really light. And I'm going to go nice and slow and I'm going to feel how my muscles are working through that range of motion. Is there any soreness? Do I feel like I'm tight anywhere? Is one side working harder than the other? Just listening to my body and getting that feedback because at that point I can decide if I need to adjust my workout. And you can always do this. Um, even if you're on a program, you can add more reps, go lighter, and adjusting on the fly is not a bad idea based on your body's feedback. So if you're sore, you may wanna consider doing the high rep workout instead of trying to hit a PR, for example. So just go through your first warm up set, and then you can determine if you wanna do another warm up set or jump right in. It's totally up to you. That's it, that's the current routine, and it's pretty easy, it's pretty streamlined. Post-workout, I would throw a stretch and hold in, you know, if I feel like stretching, but also keep in mind that when you're going through your workouts, you're doing loaded stretching. So a lot of times if you're increasing that range of motion, you're getting a good stretch on the muscles anyway. What's your current routine like? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think and what you would like to see next. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am so proud of you for achieving your goals, making progress, and sticking to it. That's it for this time. 
Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all.